I'm back with Lou Franceschetti, where I've learned my lesson. I will never ever forget the immortal Lou. Will you ever forget this bucket? I never will, I never have, and hopefully I'll never have to see it again. That saddens me in the bottom of my heart, Lou. I thought we, <laughs> I thought we had a good thing going here, man. We did, but it looks like there's a little bit of uh, sweat on the inside. It's kind of rotting out. Well, I mean, I saw Proby earlier, and I started to kind of shake a little bit. I mean, uh, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't you if you had Proby staring you down? I think I did for about uh, nine years. I uh, was <laughs> shaking every time I stepped on the ice with him. But if you get to know him off the ice, he's quite the, a different player. Bit of a gentle giant, wouldn't you say? He really is. Uh, it's one of those guys that you really never want to wake up. Uh, I guess Jacques Demers had a really good... Uh, repertoire with him that all he had to do was put the right, push the right button and uh, he got him going. Now Lou, we're talking about big guys, intimidating guys, other than yourself of course. Oh yeah, I'm really big. <laughs> okay. Who did you find during your day to be one of the most intimidating guys out on the ice? Like when you stepped out on there, you're like, man, I better keep my eyes up while he's out there. Uh, I think the only guy that really comes to mind is uh, Cam Neely. Uh, Cam pretty, pretty well played the game the way it was supposed to be played. His hard nose. Uh, he didn't. Whether you were his friend or not, he really didn't uh, care, and uh, he played the same way every single game that he uh, that he played. Any players today that you, you think of in the sort of vein that, that Cam is? I mean, we got Milan Lucic, who seems to have taken up that mantle for the great number eight out of out of Boston. Well, you know what? I think Lucic right now is my bad book, so I don't like the. If a guy's going to play that physical and he's going to do what he does, he's got to learn to, to accept what he has coming to him. And what he did with Kamasarek in the last game of the season, I really didn't appreciate. Mind you, it's only my opinion. So, uh, But he is a great player. I respect the way he uh, comes to play every game. Uh, he's done a great job with the Bruins, and I think he might be the next power forward. But he's got to learn that uh, what he dishes out, he better learn how to take. Now, I got a quick one for you. I mean, you obviously you've been in the dressing room with a lot of different characters, a lot of different guys. What were some of the crazy rituals you saw some of them do in the dressing room before the game, and you just sat down and you just looked down and go, I don't understand what's going on. The guy's going in the shower with a bucket on his head. Well, I think the probably craziest ritual I had was when I played with Gary Ennis, who threw up before every game. Yeah, he'd uh, go in the toilet, and then everybody's really quiet, and then you'd hear him in the toilet uh, just kind of tossing his cookies. So I... Uh, He's probably the, the most ritual or the most uh, guy that uh, that has done that. Yeah, I mean, uh, he's following the Glen Hall School of Preparation for games? I, I guess so. I don't know what it was. It was just uh, nerves or, or whatever. Uh, but I tell you, he won me a Calder Cup in 1979-80. Now, Lou, I mean, it is playoff time. I see you got a little bit of scruff going on. Yeah. I'm doing my best to grow mine, although okay. the wife might say, you know, you're going to have to shave it, and I, I kind of got to listen to the wife. Any playoff beards at, at this point in time that you're looking at going, oh, yeah, he's got it right? No, because I really haven't paid attention to what they're doing. Uh, I, don't, I don't really watch that many games, uh, and if I do, I don't think I actually stare and watch the players uh, any any moment during a hockey game. I just enjoy a game. I'll, I'll flip from channel to channel, see what's going on, and uh, usually the Western games intrigue me a lot more than the Eastern games. You and, you know, you and Ian Turnbull might have a little, uh, you know, stare down about that because he's you know he's chirping up the the east coast well ian can uh, say whatever he wants this is his opinion uh, i think the west is a lot more enjoyable it's a lot more physical it's a lot more fast it's a lot more chippier it's more of a style that i like to play in the east uh, other than maybe the philadelphia um, pittsburgh series uh, and a little bit of the boston montreal series until boston gave up uh, really hasn't fitted into uh, my style of uh, first round hockey